Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Again, I am excited to do another video because I finally have gotten together how I want to use my 2022 planners and journals and just how I'm going to end these last two months of the year off. So let's get to it. Um, so these are everything that I'll be using for 2022 and the last two months. I'm happy because some of these things are not as bulky as what I tried to do at the beginning of this year. So I'm gonna start with the first one and that's my journal. And I kind of labeled everything because over the last week, I've been trying to really decide how I want to use everything. So this is my Moleskin. Um, this is my first time ever getting one of these and I don't want to open it up because I got this the beginning well, close to the beginning of this month and um, I wanted to use it for journaling and so I started right away but I am going to do a flip through um, maybe next week of what I was able to do in October and then like going forward. So I'll be using this. Um, I like the fact that it has blank pages. Um, so it gives me just a lot of space to do things on, um, a lot of space to just like maneuver how I want things. So I will be using this as my journal and I've kind of started journaling differently now as opposed to before it was just all writing um, but i'll get more into that um when i show you the flip through so this next um one i'm going to be using for my bible journal so before i never had a bible journal and i was just sort of using my planner for it and so i would do just like different things like scriptures for one week and so i decided to kind of have like a Bible journal for all around things for like notes, scriptures, studying, and sermon notes. And this is a bullet journal that I got from Five Below. And it has the grid on there. The, and I just, the, the, the dotted lines. And I'm just happy. Um, I think I'll be a lot happier with this than before because I was initially going back and forth with my um where i keep my notes and everything for um just bible things and scriptures and i was using my um ipad the notebook section for that doing it but this is just a lot easier for me um i think it gives me a lot more space to kind of do exactly what i want with it and break down different things that i want to do so i'm just excited to try this and again you know I'm trying it. If I feel like it's not working, then of course I can always switch back. So that's my Bible one. And this one is going to be a lot of things. I've had a lot of transitions this past year. And so I definitely want to take note more of my physical health and mental health, more so mental health than anything. Um, so I want to be able to track certain things. I want to be able to have a place where this is just it. So whether I'm tracking um, physical issues that I'm having or mental, everything will be in here. So it'll be things like everything related to my mental health, um, my physical health, like exercising, doctor appointments, pain management. Um, I have alopecia, so just different appointments and progress and medicines that I'm taking or starting. Um, so everything like that will be in here. Um, period tracking everything. So, um, and this is the Happy Planner Spoonful of Faith. And this was my first time. I really, not too long ago, started with Happy Planners. So I thought this cover, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this like a gazillion times already. Um, I think this, I thought this planner was just so cute, but aside from that, the, the way, um, it's, it's the, the vertical lines just gives me a different way that I could track it. Cause before I was pretty much using 
the last one I had was a dashboard layout. Um, and so with the dashboard layout, it was just really hard. Like I've always found myself like hovering up things because the dashboard, it was like things to buy or something like that. And I was just always covering up certain things and recreating. Whereas this gives me an easier way to break up like different sections and, and just a different way to do things. So I'm hoping that this works out um, and just gives me a lot more space to be able to even on um, the calendar ways to like jot down certain things that I could like add in as opposed to like a smaller um, a smaller uh, calendar because I was using the um, classic skinny and so while I like the size of it, everything that I was trying to track and do with it, it was just too much, uh, too small for. So I got that one. And uh, this, so I got this from, is two journal inserts and um, two pieces, 24 pages each. And I like the size of it. I've just started to like sort of get into um, travel notebooks and things like that. So I didn't, I wanted to start doing morning pages for a lot of different reasons, like habit reasons for one, to just being in a habit of getting down and, and writing things and getting back into writing and journaling um, and just getting out my thoughts, especially in the morning. So I wanted to do morning pages and I didn't want to, at first I had a notebook. At first, I was going to use um, this notebook. And because that's the notebook that I saw a lot of people using. But I felt like that didn't really fit me. And I wanted to kind of start off on my pace and not feel so intimidated by it. I feel like the lines are not hugely wide. So it's still like a good enough space. And I'm still going to do three pages. It's just not going to be standard size. I, size. I feel like I'm still doing an activity and um, getting what I feel I need to get out of it. Just not in the notebook size that many people use. Um, so that's what I'll be using for that one. And I'm going to try morning pages just for the month of November. And then I'll kind of revisit it or do a reflection after November to see if this is something that I want to continue with. Um, so have that for morning pages and this was the other one that came to this one and this is what I'm going to use for my November gratitude journal so winter is my favorite season but I also love fall of course the seasons is changing um, just a lot of good transitions so um, I wanted to do something separate uh, because I like the holiday so much and um, I'm also, and I'll talk a, a lot more about it when I actually show you how I set this up, but I'm just going to use this for um, the gratitude journal for the month of November, and I think December I may do it too, because these are the months where, like, different things happen. I do a lot more activities, uh, well, I'm hoping to do a lot more I know uh, I just recently got a, a new job, so things can kind of change with that. But um, I wanted to just have something to be able to keep and look back on for these two months. So I have that for a gratitude journal. And this is going to be my daily planner. I'm really excited about this. This is the Hobonichi Weeks. And I recently got this cover for from for it from um amazon and i think it was only like ten dollars and uh yeah so it's nice um i like just the here's a spot for the pen and i just like to have i i like the red you know obviously i got it but i like the red and i wanted something clear that kind of still you were able to see some of the red with so this is what i'll be using as my daily planner and so this will pretty much have like my daily things things to do for the day um like other little notes or something that i need to jot down like appointments different things like that i know you guys have seen this before 
And it kind of dawned on me um, that this started the weeks. I'm sorry, that's the uh, landscaping outside. But um, it dawned on me that the weeks start in December. So I actually get to start in December with this. And so that's why I was like, oh, well, I need to kind of get this set up and think about how exactly I want to start everything. I thought this was so nice because it was not overwhelming for me, which is something that I needed um, because the the other planner that I'm using, the Happy Planner Swim Full of Faith that I'm using for mental health and um, physical health, that's big enough because I'm tracking or I'm putting a lot of different topics and things into that. Whereas I really didn't need or I felt I didn't need or want something really big and bulky for my daily planning. So this is just enough for me to write stuff on the side if I need to. Small enough space for me to jot down things that I need without it being overwhelming. So this was one of the major, major reasons why I wanted to try this. And then I still have space at the back for blank pages to kind of do whatever it is and I think I'm going to put like books that I'm reading for the year um, back here, um, maybe movies, uh, just different things like that. Um, and I may also do like some tracking back here as well. So really excited to use this. Um, this next one is just missile and his. I got this from Dollar Tree. Again, I love the season and it has like a little elf on here. And so I'm just going to start using this in November because I don't think I do that many notes because I have some other notebooks for other things. So I don't think I'm going to need like all of these pages to jot down notes and things on. Um, so I thought it was just cute to have for the season. So I have that. And then lastly, I have this and I got it in a set at Joann's. I'm trying to find the other two. It came three in a set at Joann's and it was only $2.49. And so it is a grid, blank, and lined paper. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool to use and I'm just getting back into scrapbooking. So so I want to get back into scrapbooking and I felt like this was a less intimidating way to do it because it's so small and I can kind of just start off with, you know, like little things um, because for my birthday, I recently got a um, the Polaroid high print um, picture. So it the, the picture prints are a lot smaller. So for one, something like that can fit in here or just me just doing different things with the scrapbook. So the fact that it's small, um, it's something that I can kind of work on, not fairly quickly, but it's something that um, I don't have a big page to like sit and plan for. So I thought this was nice and I'm just going to start off with this. So that is all of my planners and journals that I will be using for um, 2022 in the last two months. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what are you using for this year. Let me know what is your favorite planner to use. What is your favorite way to journal? And um, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of great videos and things that I want to do coming forward. So I hope you guys join and stay for the ride. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.